What's up guys? Welcome to Ralph's Garage. Uh, sorry about last video. Last video I uploaded the wrong one. It was a little short so that's why I posted it twice. Um, but today we got some parts in for my girl's car. So we got two packages. Both for my girl's car. Tsunami's getting fixed. Yeah, we got a vacuum for it. I gotta say, Michael, you did a good job packing this stuff. I would have never thought you would have put it inside a box so it wouldn't even move around. Smart guy. So after a couple of minutes of unpackaging, here they are, C1 strut bars. Uh, this is a three point, this one right here is a three point, uh, and this one's the one for the trunk where the spur goes, uh, just like mine. Uh, Michael, thanks for polishing them, they almost look like new, uh, and for packaging it. He even packaged this sealed food savers with all the hardware there. Thank you again. All right, we already cleaned up. Now a little. Now to bring the car in and install these bad boys. Okay, so to install these, uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, if you have to remove the plastics, um, you do have to cut holes on it just in case you do want them. Um, you have to cut a hole here and cut this piece and a hole over here. But my girl already removed it from last time. She's not putting it back on. Um, and yeah, so the one that goes here by the spare uh, it's pretty easy just bolts on right here where the, your um, hook was at and then you remove this sticker right here and there should be a screw a size 10 for it this is what I love about C1 perfect fitment like OEM um, it's not recording same thing over here um, now for the three point strut bar, these go here. Um, you do have to remove the hook from it and then use those same bolts. Uh, this one has an extra one that goes here and here that match up right there. Uh, you also have, I thought you had one here, but never mind. And then the bottom one goes here. And you'll see right here, you have a little plaque. And this little plaque goes underneath here. And then you bolt it on. So this plaque goes, this plaque goes in here. It's gonna be in there. And it's like a perfect fitment. And then you just bolt it on like that. And then after that, you just put on the bars. The bars that go like this, make a triangle. And then same here. <laughs> but let's get this show on the road. So the first bar is in. This was the easy one. It only has one. That one's it. Let's install the other one and call it a day. Yeah. 
So we use a size 17 for this um, and a size 8 for the big one and a size 5 for the small one. Um, everything bolts on pretty, pretty, pretty good. So, just installed the C1 bars on my girl's car. Looks nice. The reason I love this is just, one, it's C1. Two, you could just remove these bars, uh, just in case you have something big, and take them off, put them to the side, and load up your car with something big. You don't have to remove it ain't a hassle removing it, just leave the mounting mounting gear on, and that's it. Um, but that's it. Someone's happy. So, please leave a like, please, for more parts. Yeah, They're leave a like. <laughs> leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment, suggestions, and I'll get back to you guys. Mounts.